Hello there and welcome. Welcome to the Dr. Grant Show. My name, for those of you that are unfamiliar, is Dr. Kirsten Grant. And in this episode of the Dr. Grant Show, we're going to explore what an EFT tapping sound bath can help with. We're going to be exploring the benefits of EFT tapping sound baths. Now, a lot of people are curious about what they can do to improve their health and well-being. And a EFT tapping sound bath is a great place to start. Stay tuned with us to find out more. I'll be covering three topics. Topic number one, that the body is designed to be sensitive to sound. Topic number two, Sound baths actually improve spiritual well-being and reduce tension and depression in clinical studies. Our final topic is EFT tapping lowers anxiety and complements trauma treatment. Very excited about today's show. If you guys have questions, you can privately message me or you can contact me at the number listed below. Let's dive into topic number one, shall we? The body is designed to be sensitive to sound. Did you know that a developing baby's ears begin to form as early as just 18 weeks old? And I remember when I was pregnant with my firstborn, and by that second trimester, she was already responding to the sound of my voice. Don't believe me? Let's talk about taking a walk in nature. Your heart rate decreases, and it feels almost like magic, but actually, there's some research to show that oxytocin. The love hormone actually downrates, downregulates cortisol, which is the hormone responsible for stress. And sound baths in clinical studies have been shown to downregulate, downregulate the amygdala, which is responsible for fearful and aggressive behavior. Let's go into topic number two, shall we? All right. Sound baths in clinical studies have been shown to improve spiritual well-being and reduce tension, as well as symptoms of depression. Now, I want to hit you guys with the science behind this because there's a lot of information floating around about the efficacy of sound baths and EFT tapping, but I want to dive deeper into some peer-reviewed articles with you in this topic. There's a peer-reviewed article called Religious Journal that was published just this year. It just came out. I'm excited to share this with you. The article's title is Sound Healing, Mood, Emotional, and Spiritual Well-Being in Interrelationships. And it talks about integrative medicine, and there are techniques that potentially increase spiritual and emotional well-being. And it's also helpful in combating psychosocial stress, challenges with depression, and tension. And in the most recent study, 62 participants were observed with singing bowls. The study was done in Hong Kong, and they found it was great to address cognitive and emotional problems, diminished conscious levels, neurological conditions, fertility issues, cancer, boosting immunity, and COPD. It's even been found useful in grief and bereavement. Yes, singing bowls. Yes, sound healing. Yes, sound baths. <laughs> Another journal that cites pediatric research did deep dive research into sound therapy and sound baths using singing bowls with children. They found that it was beneficial, according to the study, for neurological, cognitive, psychosomatic, developmental, musculoskeletal, and various disorders under that area. So this is about more than pretty notes. This is about even helping children, backed by research. There's another research study that was connect conducted that was just published this year on preterm babies in the NICU. They found an improvement in oxygen saturation, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, as well as the baby's body movements, facial expression, and their ability to stand pain. Even for NICU babies that demonstrated a need to suckle, they suckled more and they increased their weight, which is exactly what we want for babies that are in the NICU. 
there's a study that went even deeper and looked at toddlers, older children, and autistic children. In those cases, toddlers and older children, they listen to music or sound, and or they play it with the instruments and the singing bowls, and they observe positive benefits no matter what the state was that the child was in. Autistic children had the biggest positive impact. Hyperactivity went down. The stereotypical behavior went down. Their attention increased and improved. Obedience increased and improved. Their nonverbal communication also improved. This is with autistic children. Children that <clears throat> deal with chronic pain also found that sound baths help them deal with the stress of it. Even improved lung function, improved clarity of speech. Even asthma, according to one study, these are documented about sound baths, singing bowls, and sound therapy in clinical research studies. So if you've ever been wondering what it's good for, I'm giving you so much. Let me, let me dive into topic number three. EFT tapping lowers anxiety and complements trauma treatment. Now, if you are a nurse or if you suffer from stress, anxiety, this recent research in the Australian Nursing and Midwifing Federation, that you're going to be very interested in. For EFT tapping, which is evidence-based therapeutic model is what they use, tapping on the meridian points on the face and the body. What they found was a desensitization and acceptance of invasive, evasive emotions and thoughts. Their anxiety levels dropped. So if you're a nurse, if you're stressed, if you're uncomfortable with negative emotions, if you're struggling with negative emotions, ruminating thoughts that make you feel like you're almost losing your mind <laughs> and I see someone's joined us hi 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 welcome to the show unfortunately I'm so far away I cannot see your comment but I'm going to look at it as soon as I finish chatting with you guys <laughs> there is a journal of um called the journal of nervous and mental disease if tapping they Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see if you guys can hear me. All right. I want to see if you guys can still hear me. Hopefully you guys can. Hello. All right. I think our signal dropped for just a smidget, but I think we're back now. So I apologize about that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Looks like I've got a wee bit of a frog in my throat right now. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go deeper into that last part because I'm uncertain if you guys heard it. Okay. 
All right, so give me one moment, okay? I'm trying to check our signal here. Okay, so, all right, it looks like we are back online. <laughs> I love technology, I sincerely do when it works. <laughs> so once again, I'm hitting you guys with the clinical studies. There's a lot of um, wonderful experiences and personal recounts of EFT tapping, sound therapy, but I want to give you the clinical studies so I can give you some substance. So let's go into topic number three. EFT tapping lowers anxiety Cummins trauma treatment. Now, this is of interest to you if you are a nurse, if you suffer from stress, you suffer from anxiety, then you're going to love the most recent research as of 2022 with the Australian Nursing and Midwifing Federation. They found that EFT tapping as a therapeutic method, which for those of you that are unfamiliar, you're tapping on the major meridian points, you're focusing on a negative emotion. What they found is that there was increased desensitization to the negative emotion. For the nursing students that practice EFT tapping, they found significant decreases in anxiety. One research, researcher found that what EFT tapping does is that it restores your body's balance and your ability to handle these uncomfortable emotions by actually stimulating the meridian points. And this therefore reduces stress, negative emotion that you feel about a certain issue, and it restores the body's balance. Now, the Journal of Nervous and Mental Disease also found very favorable results with EFT tapping. Once again, the research keeps overlapping, decreases in stress, decreases in anxiety, decreases in food cravings, decreases in processing negative emotions. So in, in conclusion here, for those of you that might just joined, EFT tapping and sound baths, they're powerful alone, but stronger together. We've been talking about what does EFT tapping, EFT tapping sound bath help with? Let me give a brief recap. In adults, Clinical studies found that it disrupted the negative energy that powers stress and negative emotions. It desensitizes people to negative emotions. It increases the ability to accept and navigate negative emotions. Restores energy balance. Reduces stress. Significant reductions in anxiety. Restores balance. Improved ability to handle grief. Yes, I am talking about EFT tapping and sound baths according to clinical studies, boosts in fertility and immunity, improved ability with weight loss, food cravings, and emotional eating. Now, I want to dive into it with children. Clinical studies, once again, improved speech clarity, lung function, pain tolerance, reduced hyperactivity and increased focus among autistic children. For NICU babies, they experienced increased oxygen saturation in their blood, improved blood pressure, suckling, pain tolerance, and especially for NICU babies, which is ever so important, weight gain. Yes, yes. So I wanted to dive into, for this show topic, what does EFT and what, <laughs> what does an EFT tapping sound bath help with? And I can give you my personal stories of what this has helped with. For me and for the clients that I serve that struggle with emotional eating, food addiction, food cravings, food binges, trying to lose weight, I would be remiss if I didn't give you a wee bit of that story. I can give you the uh, empirical data and evidence from scientific studies. And it was important for us to dive into this because some people wonder 
well, what can this really do? And there is a difference between talking about what EFT tapping sound baths can do from a personal perspective, which I will be adding that in a moment, versus actual clinical studies and research backed studies featured in peer reviewed journals. Now, I only took a slice of 2022's latest updates. There is so much more, <laughs> so much more if you wanna go back in the uh, journal articles. I just wanted to see what the uh, latest developments were. And I wanted to report these to you. For those of you, because I have a lot of doctors, MDs, DOs, NDs, DCs, PhDs that are often wondering and have expressed to me that this is great, this sounds wonderful, but where's the research? <laughs> now, I will admit, when I first encountered the budding research on sound baths and EFT tapping 30 years ago, I felt that it had great potential then. But at that time, I didn't have enough evidence because it was just coming out. Have you ever experienced that where you encounter something and you say, wow, I think this is going to be big. I think this is going to have great potential. But you just haven't had a chance for science to catch up with your intuition. No, that's the position that I'm currently sitting in. 30 years ago, I encountered the science behind EFT tapping, acupuncture, meridians, sound baths in terms of how it affects the body. And I kept a close eye on it, constantly looking at it. And I always had the idea that what would happen if we put these things together? What would happen if we fused psychology with this? to help people that are struggling with obesity, struggling with weight loss, struggling with food binges, emotional eating, food addiction. And I am so pleased with the results, so pleased. Now I will admit, I do have a driving factor behind this. For those of you that are unfamiliar with me, and this is your first time meeting me, Hello, for starters. But I lost my mother to obesity, food addiction, and emotional eating. And I'm here to share with you that I have created this show, as well as my digital wellness practice, to keep one more person from losing their loved one too soon. You see, I, I lost her, and this was about more than calories in and calories out. Science has already debunked that. Now, you can do that. You can monitor that. But science is showing that weight loss, obesity, emotional eating, struggling with food addiction, it's about more than willpower and calories in, calories out, or finding just the right diet. My mother went through that. She went through trying to find just the right diet. And unfortunately, by the time she passed away years ago, she was so heavy that at first, I was afraid that we weren't going to be able to find a normal size casket to bury her in. Now we did, fortunately. But it made me reflect even at that time. And have you ever had that happen? You lose someone that's so close to you, someone that you care so much about. And all these memories, all of these experiences, start flooding back. I experienced my mother. 
struggling with her weight, using exercise, using diets in an effort to push back against life's happenings, the bumps in the road, the broken relationships, not getting what she needed when she was younger, feelings of wishing that she were more. You can be told that you're more, but there's a difference between, between being told that you're more and enough and truly feeling it on the inside. I witnessed my mother go through so many career changes, involuntary ones. And these are the things that influence weight gain, not the calories in, not the calories out. It's you having the tools to actually be able to navigate these rocky and bumpy waters. When you have the tools and have someone to personally guide you through, it makes life so much easier to live. And you're still gallivanting quite quickly towards your goals, but in a much easier shape, form, and fashion. <laughs> and isn't that what we want? Don't we want to get to our health goals and feel like it's not some far away dream? Imagine what that would feel like to actually be able to get to your health goals without all the struggle that you used to have in the past because you've identified the root of the problem. And that's what I've been finding EFT tapping sound baths that I've constructed have been doing for people that I serve in my digital wellness practice that works with people that struggle with emotional eating, food addiction, obesity, food cravings and binges. We get into the root of using psychology. We get into the root of what really is the challenge you're experiencing and help identify it, lift it up, examine it. Take the parts and the lessons, leave the emotion that's triggering you to binge and overeat behind. And then from that point, you build and become the architect of your life. You build the food that you want to eat and you actually can stick to it because you've removed all the emotional and psychological triggers that normally would have made you give up. <laughs> we construct your fitness regimen. Because once again, you've removed the emotional and psychological triggers that normally would have made you start and stop, start and stop with your diet, start and stop, start and stop with your fitness workout plan. You get an in-depth understanding of how you really tick. I unfortunately was too late with my mom, but I'm not too late to help thousands and millions of other people and help keep people on this earth so that they can step into and walk in their greatest gifts and potential. So if this has sounded pretty interesting to you, you can feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is listed below. I can be found on edibleaddiction.com. I can also be found all over social media on Facebook under Kirsten Grant, as well as Phoenix Six, the name of the company. I can be found on Instagram under Kirsten Grant PhD. I can be found on Pinterest. I can be found as a writer for several online magazine articles. I can be found on YouTube. Yeah, just take your pick. If your conversation and topics are a wee bit more sensitive in nature, and you'd like to have a discussion, feel free to reach out to me at the number that's listed below, 312-601-8510. Make sure to share this episode with someone that you know that is curious about EFT tapping and sound baths, or someone that has gone through the cycle of Losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, emotional eating, not emotionally. <laughs> Make sure to share this episode with someone that wants a sustainable way to reach their health goals that accounts for all parts and all areas of their lives. Because that's what we do here. We use psychology, 
along with innovative, scientifically proven techniques to help you get to your goals and your health goals so much faster because it's your life that's influencing the outcome. So why don't we do exactly that? Let's dive into your life and what you truly want and truly need. All right, everyone. Thank you so much once again for watching the Dr. Grant Show. We are on live on Wednesdays and on on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Much love to you. See you soon. Bye.